I'm uh, Dr. Ross Perry and I'm here with Deborah and a little cockatiel called Buffy. Now Buffy has come for a second opinion this morning and uh, has been in trouble and Deborah is very very concerned about his welfare and uh, his prognosis and so forth and I understand that. Um, hey, you're a little nibbler aren't you? I understand, Deborah, that he's been chewing um, around the house, that he's have access to your house. Mm -hmm. You've got a beautiful Balinese house. Was. It was a beautiful. <laughs> and amongst other things, he's been chewing on a, um, a black painted um, concrete Buddha from Bali. Yes. And he's been chewing on some gold plated. Lacquered um, a mirror with woodwork around it. Yeah, woodwork that's been painted gold and lacquered. Yes, from Bali. Right. Okay. All right. And he has severe diarrhea. And he's been vomiting. Mm -hmm. And he's, um, but he's still eating. Yes. He's and he's had x-rays from your local vet uh, and some treatment from your local vet that I think included um, a calcinate injection, which is the first part of treatment for heavy metal poisoning. And he's been given some Baytril and some by a crop tube. They're two antibiotics. The Baytril is a broad spectrum antibiotic that um, treats a lot of coliform infections and the Flagyl um, treats protozoal infections when it's given as a when they're given it as a course over five days or so. Anyway, um, my procedure with him at this stage is I've just had a look at a wet fecal smear that he just passed <coughs> a few moments ago and in the wet fecal smear I did not see any megabacteria, I did not see any coccidia, I did not see any giardia, I didn't see any trichomonas, I didn't see um, any obvious branching fungi in the wet smear. So I'll be staining that smear shortly um, my next step is to have a, a feel of him, um, a buffy, your beautiful birdie, uh, to weigh him, uh, to do a physical examination and then I want to pass a tube down his throat, get a sample of uh, um, some cells and any bacteria etc in the throat, gram stain that smear and see if we have evidence for uh, any infection. Intuitively, I feel that he's got heavy metal poisoning um, and on the radiographs, we've had a look at these radiographs, we cannot see any solid pieces of metal, any little white spots on the x-rays. What we can see though is a very enlarged liver, um, or the shadow of a very enlarged liver. So I'll be having a look at all that um, and having a feel of him in a moment. and will then guide you as to the various ways of helping his liver, seeing what else needs to be done, and guide you that way. Okay. So, all right. So, that's uh, quietly. Well, it's all right. You can still fly. That is excellent. Okay. Oh, can you chew that? Yeah, that's, yeah it's all chewy. Yep, that's what it's there for. That's what it's there for. You show you things that can be chewed. Come on, maybe. Come on. Oh, you're a good birdie. Come on, Buffy. That's what he should have. He should have some branches like that that he can. Um... <gasps> That's all right. Oh. That's all right. He'll come down quietly, quietly. There's no need to panic. Pretty the more we panic, the more we upset them. And the more our vibes are out. Okay. Let's work calmly. Right. I don't need that anymore. My baby. My baby. You're a beautiful birdie. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Is he a boy? I haven't checked. He's a big bird. Yeah, that's his breeding at Um, 76 grams. 76 grams. Normally you can't even pick him up. Well, as I said, I work differently from and you might notice that I'm working very calmly and I'm doing it very precisely and specifically for him. He won't let me pay more. No way. So I work energetically as well as physically. And 
the energy, we're both within each other's energy field. Even if you're down the street, if I look at you with a bit of mischief in my mind, you'll turn around and catch me in the eye. Right, common experience. Interesting. Okay, so instead of having mischief in my mind, I'm working with love, calm, reassurance, and doing things that way. So, this is known as Tellington Touch, when, you, when you're tracing little overlapping circles. Um, can I learn how to do this? Of course you can. That's why I'm doing it, to show you and, and to show others, and that's why we're on camera, so that people can learn. So if you've never done this in your lifetime, there'll be a few more things that you've never done in your lifetime that... Um, when I pick him up, he screams and bites and kicks and, and goes mental. He won't, I try to pat him and he just won't let me. Well, in, that's a thing of the past. So, in the past, let's preface that with in the past. In the past, he used to not let me. Okay. So, we have to change. We don't have to, but we have an opportunity to change your experience today. Wow. Right? We have an opportunity to do that today. So, Work with my words, work with my feelings, and you bring love and compassion, not control, but respect, honouring the embodiment of love that he is. I know you love him, love him deeply, but there is a different way of relating with him that you're seeing right now. Mm. All right? So, I don't let them purposely come in contact with my saliva, so instead of putting lips to them, I put forehead to them. He lets me scratch him with my nose. Yep, well, that's fine. Okay, that's but I'm fine. not allowed to touch him with my fingers. Right, okay. Okay. Alright, well, we'll get on with the physical examination. Hey, you beautiful lady, just calm, just calm. Perhaps because I'm a guy, I still find it a little bit challenging to multitask all the things that I want to do, but I maintain the intent of calming and working. What were you? Maybe because I'm a guy, oh, you, know, you know, guys have, as traditionally are said to have difficulty multitasking. Yes. And there's a lot um, I'm doing or intending. I did not hear any abnormal sounds there. That's quite, quite okay. 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 Right, he's lost um, a fair bit of weight. Um, his pectoral muscles have gone from rounded out to the flat stage. They haven't gone to the concave stage. So yeah, he he's been sick for a while. Three days. Yep, well, that shows. I know, because he eats 24-7. Right, okay. Even though the x-rays um, show an enlarged liver, it's not as enlarged as I felt it was. You seem to be getting hurt, though. Pardon? Your frightened is getting hurt. No, So the liver is coming down to about the level of his sternum in the areas that I can feel it. 